What do you see when you look around? Are you looking for memories lost and found? And what do you see when you close your eyes? And remember the best days of our lives. Well, I see color. bless you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Rico Magnelli and on behalf of Jeanette and Ed and their families, welcome to this very special occasion of the marriage of Jeanette and Ed. Please be seated. I've had the privilege to get to know Jeanette and Ed on a more personal level as we've spent many hours together discussing marriage and the details of this very unique day. They are both very pure-hearted children of God that seek the light of God's heart and God's wisdom. And it is this light that has drawn them together. The paths each has taken to reach 
this day, for the most part, have been different. Yet their love for God and each other has inspired a union from this day forward. In their union, we find God's heart and wisdom for the perpetuation and well-being of mankind. As it has been from the beginning, as recorded in Genesis 2.24, therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. One flesh is the hidden wisdom of God that enables two different people to become one. Their story is very inspiring and one that anyone with eyes to see and ears to hear will recognize. Their journeys has had ups and downs like the rest of us. Yet both will tell you of God's love, His care, His grace in their lives that have seen them through to this very day to become one. Your presence here as a family and friend is a great blessing to them, a memory for them to cherish as they share the sweetness of this day moving forward with their lives together. Therefore, in the name of God, the everlasting and beneficent Father, and Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, with the power of the Holy Spirit given to man, we are gathered in God's eyes to join together this man and this woman in the sacred bonds of marriage instituted of God. I charge each of you before God, the searcher of hearts of men, as recorded in Scripture, that they who are brought together of God are joined together of God. Ed, will you have this woman to be your wife? And will you love her, honor her, cherish and sustain her as becometh a Christian husband, so long as you both shall live? Answer, I will. I will. Jeanette, will you take this man to be your husband? And will you love him, honor him, cherish and sustain him as becometh a Christian wife, so long as you both shall live? Answer, I will. I will. Who giveth this woman to be married? I am representing the family. Beautiful. You can take this bouquet. I'll take that. Beautiful. Thank you, Warner. And now will you face me? Ed and Jeanette have decided to partake of communion. Many are familiar with communion. Communion means to be at one. And what communion represents is to be at one with Christ. And we celebrate this because this was instituted of our Lord. And it's observed in the ceremony in thanks and in pre appreciation to God for what Jesus Christ accomplished. Now, as individuals, you know these truths. But this is done 
as a benefit to Ed and Jeanette as a couple who are entering in to the marriage together. And by this, Ed and Jeanette are publicly committing themselves to share the physical and spiritual wholeness in their lives together as a couple. In 1 Corinthians 11, verses 23 through 26, the Apostle Paul wrote, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, he also took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. As you drink this cup, it's in remembrance that in his blood, the New Testament is set. Since Ed and Jeanette have expressed their vows before God and each has heard their vows, now they will pledge themselves to each other. So if you would face each other. And Ed, we're going to start with you. I, Ed. I, Ed. Take you, Jeanette. Take you, Jeanette. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. To honor. To honor. To cherish. To cherish. To sustain. To sustain. And to love with all my heart. And to love with all my heart. In every situation. In every situation. Under every condition. Under every condition. Before God the searcher of hearts. Before God the searcher of hearts. I there too. Pledge to you myself. Pledge to you myself. Now, Jeanette, you pledge yourself to Ed. I, Jeanette, I, Jeanette take you, take you Ed, Ed, to be my husband, to, be my husband to, have to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward to, honor, to honor, to cherish, to, cherish, to sustain and to love with all my heart in every situation under every condition before God the searcher of hearts and there too I pledge to you myself beautiful
Ken and Jeanette are going to exchange rings. And the rings are a circle. And they represent unbroken commitment. And they are a token and a pledge to your Heavenly Father before God and to each other. And you're going to take this ring in your right hand and take her left hand. There you go. And repeat after me. This ring. This ring. I give you. I give you. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of my Christian faith. Of my Christian faith. An abiding love for you. An abiding love for you. Beautiful. Now, Jeanette, with your right hand, put it on his left. Ring finger. That one there. Perfect. Yeah. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of my Christian faith. Of my Christian faith. And my abiding love for you. And my abiding love for you. Beautiful. Now the seal of these holy vows, Ed and Jeanette, join your hands. For as much as you, Ed, and you, Jeanette, have consented together in holy wedlock before God and this gathering, I pronounce you husband and wife, in the name of God and his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ and with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now turn and face me. Jeanette will take Ed's last name, Garza. And this is far more ancient than most people understand. This goes back thousands and thousands of years where a conquering country would rename cities when people were taken captive they would be given new names and it has followed us down through the cultures and some cultures don't necessarily observe this but we often observe it and she will take his name and what that represents is that she falls under his protection and his blessing and it's a beautiful beautiful thing the symbolism and the recognition this time, would you help her kneel? My beloved, my heart is open unto you. I have seen your path from afar off. And I've called you with a still voice. I have called you to my grace. And I've led you on a path that has been blazed by my Son, Jesus Christ. Beloved, I will be with you in and through all challenges. Seek me out in victory and seek me out in challenge. For I, your Heavenly Father, will bless you. I, your Heavenly Father, will encourage you and strengthen you. I, your Heavenly Father, will never turn my back upon you. For I love you, beloved, and my love is deep and rich 
and take my love and give it one to another and spread that news, that good news of my son. And you will see signs, miracles, and wonders come to pass. For I love you dearly, beloved, and I will continue to guide you in all your steps all the days of your life. Most gracious Heavenly Father, how abundant are your goodnesses, your goodness and your grace, and how you provide your blessings on this wonderful couple, and how you strengthen them, and how you are there for them in all situations, and how you open doors unto them that will bring them before you and before others that they may share the good news of your Son. Father, bless them and protect them in all their ways and all their days, that they may continue to be a glory unto you as your beloved children. And this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. to seal the words that have been spoken here today, Ed and Jeanette have decided to partake of the salt covenant. The salt covenant may not be as familiar to us in the West, but it's very common in the Middle East and in the Bible lands. The salt covenant is part of the ceremony that seals the vows and commitments made here today and that's why they've chosen to partake. It is one of the oldest customs in the Bible and it's still in use today. It symbolizes a pledge of fidelity in dealings among people. It's used in business transactions, commitments among family, friends, and of course in marriage. The Eastern culture even sharing a salted beverage or a meal containing salt would constitute this covenant and indicate that each party would uphold their part of the agreement. God himself refers to this covenant in 2 Chronicles 13.5 and Colossians 4.6 that even our words are to be salted. Words mean something. Even the newborn Christ was washed in a salt solution, indicating that he would be salted. Our words one to another are to carry this kind of heart. Will you face each other, please? And Ed, take your right index finger touch the lips of your wife.
And Jeanette, would you take the right end of your picture and touch the lips of your husband? Beautiful. You can turn his face here. The Lord bless and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Would you turn and completely turn around and give her your arm? And would you give her back the bouquet? Here you go. And for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, let me present Mr. and Mrs. Edward James Garza. You can go ahead. Congratulations, guys. We love you guys so much, and we're so excited for you. Congratulations, Jeanette and Ed. We're so thankful for you. We pray for you daily, and we pray for Stephen as well. And we're so happy for you. Ed and Jeanette, we're so thankful to God for the answered prayer of you two together. Amen. And we are just so excited to see God continue to be faithful to you guys and bless you for many, many years. We love you. Congratulations. Jeanette, uh, we just loved the, your beautiful ceremony. We loved everything about it. We, I saw that you and you and Ed had both um, cried a little bit. And I want to tell you that I started to cry too because I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so excited that God brought you two together. And I know that you're going to go down a wonderful path with God and with each other. Uh, uh, Ed and Jeanette, we, uh, thank you for letting us share this special moment with you and uh, we know that uh, it was such a blessing that the wedding was a wonderful wedding and we know God's going to bless you all very mightily as you move down the road together. Uh, we love you. Bye. Hey Jeanette and Ed, beautiful, beautiful wedding, gorgeous bride, handsome groom, great venue and I am so excited about you two getting married. You ever just keep your eyes on God and do what he wants you to do and all will be well. An occasional drink doesn't hurt either. I'm speaking from experience. Love you both very much and I'm so thankful to be, to be here. God bless you. Congratulations, Ed and Jeanette. I was so glad to be here to witness such a beautiful and sweet and inspiring ceremony for you too. I'm so excited for what the future brings and I just pray that it's full of blessings and um, great memories. I'm so thankful to know you guys. Have a great 2022. Okay, I'd like to make a couple of introductions. And first, now, if I don't get this right, you correct me, but the matron of honor I'd like to introduce Debbie Cornison. Okay. Give it to me, girl. What is it? 
Canarsic, Debbie Canarsic, and from Debbie.
Just be around them. And you'll notice that there's something very special going on. And that is a good thing. Because it's a witness in and of itself. In fact, one of the most powerful witnesses in Christianity is a marriage. It is. It's one of the most powerful witnesses in Christianity. And some may not agree, and that's okay. But that's what we have seen. Because you have two different people coming together and becoming one. And not willing to tolerate the other, but willing to listen and engage. And I see that in both of you. So continuing that journey is uh, my heart for you. And uh, God's going to open some great doors for you. Really wonderful doors. So may your journey continue in His blessings and His grace. Amen. Amen. It's an incredible time together, especially because you guys, every single one of you are here. You mean so much to Jeanette and I that you took the time and made the time to be here with us to celebrate this momentous occasion for us. So we want to cherish that momentous occasion. So I want to share something that means a lot to Jeanette and I. And that's really just following God's direction. And that starts with us really starting to pray together. When we first started to talk when I was in Texas, we prayed together every morning and sometimes every night as the day went by, as we became closer and closer. You know, we had never met each other. We just started to pray together and just work together and talk about lives. And one thing happened after another, we started to realize that we enjoyed a lot of the same things. Obviously, our Lord Jesus Christ, God, we love to dance, uh, we, uh, I mean, we love the same music, uh, the same this is Mexican food, uh, <laughs> always, I mean, uh, just a lot of things just started coming up. Well, she came to see me. Uh, in the holidays, for the first time, right? It was uh, New Year's, right? In New Year's, and uh, that's when we met for the first time, and it just gelled. We had a great time together. The next time I met her, we went to, uh, she was on an annual enrollment, and I, she goes to about, I'm just going to guess, five or six states by herself driving enrollment, enrolling employees into healthcare enrollment. She was going by herself and it was her birthday and I couldn't stand her going by herself and driving on the road from Arkansas to Tennessee to all these places on her birthday and her not, not being with her, at least to support her in that role, right? So I said, I surprised her, flew into Atlanta and surprised her and I drove the whole time for her so she could concentrate on work. And I sat around and I worked because of my job. I could work while she's working and enrolling everybody, right? So we, what a great chance to know each other. I, mean, I don't know if you've ever taken road trips with people, but you know, it, was, uh, it was incredible, okay? I mean, because we got along. I mean, we, we just jived. We spoke the word to each other. We spoke the word to other people. And it was, it was like, it was peaceful. It was peaceful. Right? I did not feel at all judged at any point in front of her. I felt blameless in front of her. She felt blameless in front of me. And that's the beauty of a marriage relationship where you can stand before each other because you know that you have Christ in you and your spouse has Christ in her. Right? And you can see that Christ in her despite anything that comes up or any challenges that come up. You always go back to that root purpose and cause and why you are together. And nothing will be impossible if you have God on your side. So we realize that very closely. So this toast is to my new wife, Jeanette. I'm so thankful for you. Aww. Aww. That's going to be fun. And some other 
special things that you're going to do. It's going to be really fun. Una vez más, oigo el lamento en tu voz. Ya lo sé, no hace falta una explicación.
about 